In the heart of an ancient forest, where the trees whisper secrets of a bygone era, there lay a decrepit, abandoned mansion, known to the locals as Hollow Shade Manor. Its history was steeped in mystery and tragedy, tales of its former inhabitants disappearing, without a trace, and of eerie lights flickering in the dead of night despite the house having been uninhabited for. Centuries, the story begins with a group of curious teenagers, drawn to the allure of Hollow Shade Manor's sinister reputation. They ventured into the forest as dusk fell, their way lit only by the dim glow of their flashlights and the haunting glow of the full moon. As they approached the manor, a chilling breeze whispered through the trees, as if warning them to turn back, ignoring the ominous signs. The group pushed open the manor's heavy, creaking doors, stepping into a grand foyer coated in a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. They explored the manor, their footsteps echoing in the vest, empty halls disturbing the silence that had reigned for centuries. As they delved deeper, they stumbled upon a locked door in the cellar, behind which they could hear faint. Inexplicable whispers, driven by a mixture of fear and curiosity, one of the teenagers, Alex, managed to pick the lock. The door swung open with a groan, revealing a hidden library filled with ancient books and manuscripts. The air heavy with the scent of mold and decay. In the center of the room stood a large, ornate book, its pages fluttering as if touched by an unseen hand. Drawn to the book as if by a magnetic force, Alex reached out to touch it, and the moment his fingers brushed the cover, the whispers grew into coherent voices, pleading, warning. Begging for a release, the air around them grew colder, and the dim light from their flashlights flickered erratically, casting long shadows that seemed to twist and move of their own accord. Suddenly, the room went dark and the teenagers found themselves surrounded by apparitions. Spectral figures of the manor's former inhabitants, trapped in a liminal space between life and death. They learned the horrifying truth, that the manor was cursed, its owner doomed to roam its halls for eternity, never finding peace. In a panic, the group attempted to flee, but the manor seemed to change around them, corridors twisting into impossible geometries, doors leading back into rooms they had already left. It was as if the house itself was alive, intent on keeping them within its walls. As the night wore on, they became separated, each facing their own nightmares, manifestations of their deepest fears brought to life by the malevolent force that had taken hold of Hollow Shade Manor. They realized too late that the legends were more than mere stories. They were warnings. By dawn, only one of them, Alex, had managed to escape. His mind fractured by the horrors he had witnessed. He spoke of the manor with a frenzied fear, warning others to stay away, but his tales were dismissed as the ramblings of a traumatized mind. Hollow Shade Man stands to this day, silent and brooding. Its secrets and horrors locked within. They say that on nights when the moon is full, you can still see lights flickering in the windows and hear the faint whispers of those trapped within, forever bound to the cursed land. And so, Hollow Shade Man awaits, patient and hungry, for the next unwitting souls to cross its threshold, to join the legion of the damned that wander its halls lost to the world of the living forever.